Hey guys, and welcome to this quick tutorial on asset downloads. So one of the new things that we've added to Stingray in uh, some of the more recent versions is the ability to do asset downloads. And um, they're really useful because you can get a bunch of really nice models uh, that you can use in your scene. Uh, they're free to use, and you can use them in any project you want. And we have a whole bunch of really nice models in here. And I just kind of wanted to give a quick tutorial on you know, how to download them and get them working. But what's really nice is that you can augment your scenes, you can create entire scenes like this, like nothing here in this scene. Um, what did I create? This is all uh, created in you know, asset downloads and I basically just downloaded the assets, put them into place and kind of created this quick scene uh, that I made. Um, everything from the, the smoke effects off here, to the cars, to the buses, to these street lights and park benches, and uh, these really nice buildings that are all over the scene. Um, yeah, I mean, basically everything. Uh, and it's, it's, really, it's really cool to have this kind of capability, you know, just right built into Stingray. You don't even have to go to any website. You don't have to leave the comfortable interface with Stingray at all. Um, and it really allows you to, you know, kind of just either experiment or if you're, if you're not comfortable modeling and you want to like figure out how to make a car run, you can use the cars, you can, you know, do any sort of thing. If you want to practice cameras or if you just want to augment your scene, like I said earlier, um, you know, this, this gives you that potentiality and um, it's really easy to do. So uh, that's, that's what I'm going to just show you really quick. And I just wanted to give you an idea of the potential, um, you know, everything from foliage and trees to street signs to, you know, uh, garbage cans to you name it, it's in here. Um, you know, even, I think there's even a, yeah, there's a plane in the sky that I, I brought in just to have, you know, something that looks kind of cool. But yeah, so all this is possible um, and it's all done right through the downloads. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into it and let's see what that's like, okay? So I'm gonna close this project and I'm just gonna start with a brand new fresh project and I'm gonna show you how to download and uh, get this stuff working. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a basic template and I'm just gonna create it and I'm just gonna store it on my desktop. I'm just gonna call this, uh, I don't know, uh, asset download um, tutorial. And I'm going to put this into a folder on my desktop, new folder, and I'm going to call this asset uh, download tutorial. And then I'm just going to select that folder. So I'm going to go to my desktop and go into my uh, project here, asset download tutorial, OK, and create. OK, so here I have a blank scene and I'm in the basic template. So this will work with any template. It doesn't matter what project you're working with. You can, you can use asset downloads from any project, anytime. And to get to them is very easy. All you want to do is look in your asset browser, and then you'll notice that there's this new tab here called Online Assets. And when you select it, it's going to give you a list of all the assets. Now, though you can look at all the assets at once, you can also tab it down. And if you want to just download an environment, you can go ahead and download an environment or a color grading pack or whatever you would like. So let's just go ahead and try the Stuttgart environment and let's click the download button. Alternatively, you can click the download button from here, which I'll do in the next uh, download. Okay, once downloaded, what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a new folder in your project um, that'll be relative to this. So, you know, this was environments and it just created an Autodesk underscore environments folder. And we go into exterior and Stuttgart, go ahead and drag that into our scene and immediately we'll have that new background uh, available to us, okay? And that's pretty much the standard thing. Now, one thing you should note is that, like I showed you, we can go into the cube maps and look at the different maps that make it up. Um, and we can see the environment entity, we can see the level, we can see everything that we need here. And all of this is editable. Okay, and this is true for everything. Once it's in your project, there's nothing stopping you from bringing it into Maya or Photoshop or whatever tool you need to be able to alter or augment these things. So just because they, you know, the car may be red and you wanted a blue car, that shouldn't stop you. You just download it and alter the material and you're good to go, okay? So just so you're aware, once they're in your project, they're just like any other asset, okay? And you can alter them as much as you'd like, all right? So that's basically all there is to it. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the different things that we have here. So that was an environment, very easy to download and install. 
Um, and we're going to go ahead and grab this color grading. And like I said, you can click the download button over here, or you can click the download button right there. Okay, so we'll just click that one. Now again, this one was inside of our uh, environments panel, so this will also be find, found in our environments. And here we have a new folder called color grading. So in order to use one of these color grading files, all we're going to do is just go ahead and grab it, go to our environment, and drag the environment into the color grading part. Okay, so we're going to select color grading, and we can just drag it in and then enable it. Okay, and once it's enabled, you'll see that your scene takes a slightly different shading. And we can go Hagrid, and again, it changed our, our visual look. Or we can do something a little more uh, severe, like Julia. Okay, and you just want to try these out and play with them and see which ones you like. Um, often you'll find one that really works well for your scene. Like, you know, if I was looking for a sepia tone style photo, this might be perfect for me. Um, and yeah, so color grading is really useful. And there's a whole bunch of different color grading for your environments that you can just drop right in into place. Okay, moving on, let's go to the effects and let's see what we've got here. So we've got this flame torch and flame candle. Let's just download one of them. So I'm just gonna click the download button. And now I've got a candle that I can use. Again, it's gonna be Autodesk FX and we'll go into fire, candle, and we'll just drag the particle effect right into our scene. And we should see that we're actually getting a little flame right there. So there it is. We can grab a different effect that might be a little more visible. Let's grab this smoky chimney. And let's just drag that particle effect right in. So there we can see that it's giving us a, a smoke effect now. Okay, so very easy to use, very easy to download these parts and put them right into your scene. Some of the uh, other assets are from the live, um, the live product. And these are all the different things that you would have found in live. And we have this truck, we can go ahead and download him. Once downloaded, we can just go to our Autodesk live content here, go to the truck S3. And once downloaded, we can drag the truck into our scene. And there you have it. So moving on to materials. Uh, we can just go ahead and select one of our materials here. Let's go ahead and grab, I don't know, uh, let's grab this cobblestone and download the cobblestone. Once downloaded, we can go into our Autodesk materials, grab the ground, cobblestone, and drag the material onto any object we would like. Let's drag it onto this floor and adjust the material, I don't know, the parallax scale maybe. We can make it a little more bumpy or we can increase the detail. And we can increase the UV scale. So let's make it something more like 20 and 20. And now we've got a nice cobblestone for our truck to drive on. So as you can see, it's really easy to get these things into your, into your project or your game and get them working right away. Um, very powerful and very useful. So um, that's really all there is to this. Um, there's not much else to say. Uh, start using it, it's great. And if you wanna prototype out a level, nothing could be easier than this, all right? So uh, hopefully that was informative to you and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.